What's up, everybody? Pony Lover 1989 here. Before I have to tell you another anime title, if you guys really want me to watch and react to an anime TV show from 1992 or 1991, Ah uh, Harimanada, post your thoughts in the comments down below and explain what you want. The next anime title I'm going to be telling you about is I Know Senshi Rainbow Man. I know Senshi Rainbow Man, or translated as Warrior of Love Rainbow Man, is a tokusatsu series created by Kohan Kawauchi. It was the first superhero TV series produced by Toho Company Limited and was broadcasted on NET, now known as TV Asahi, from October 6, 1972 to... Hold up. I gotta charge my... Tablet. Sorry you had to see that. From October 6, 1972 to September 18, 1973, with a total of 52 episodes. Mitsuru Adachi wrote the manga series based on the show, which was serialized in TV magazine Otomodachi in, from 1972 to 1973. The overview is that the series focuses on a pro wrestler, Takashi Yamato, a young man who, after trading in India with the yogi sage Dev Devadatta, gains the ability to transform into a superhero called Rainbow Man, who possesses seven different superhero forms called the Dashes, with seven Dashes representing Yin and Yang, the sun and the moon, which are Chinese though, and five elements, the Wu Zing, and from the ancient Chinese philosophy. In each Dash form, Rainbow Man is endowed with the color-coded costume and powers related to that element. Dash 1, yellow, represents the moon. Dash 2, red, represents fire. Dash 3, blue, represents water. And Dash 4, green, represents wood. And Dash 5, gold, represents metal. Dash 6, brown, represents the earth. And Dash 7, white, represents the sun. Later in the sealer... Later in the series, he gains the ability to create the fusion state between Dash 7 and any other two forms with all their related powers. Rainbow Man opposes the Dai Dai Gang, a group representing a hostile foreign powers bent on revenge against Japan for the acts carried out on, in World War II. They make use of the elite, the elite mercenaries, cyborgs, wizards, and supernatural monsters in pursuit of their plans. In 1982, a 22 anime episode remake was loosely based on the live action TV show, and instead of a superhero as in the live action series, the anime features a teenage boy who commands seven giant robots who can merge into a large giant robot. Anyway, this is basically all I can tell you about I Know Senshi Warrior Man. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like me to react, if you like me to talk about more anime titles like this one, post your post your thoughts in the comments down below. Or if you want me to watch and react to an entire series and season of the anime TV show Pokemon, post your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you like this video, click a thumbs up, notify me, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, Mitsuru Adachi, who created, who created the live-action TV show, also worked on other anime titles such as Hiatari Ryoko Miyuki 1983, the baseball anime Touch, H2 from 1992, Cross Game, and Mix. This is all I could tell you about what Mitsuru Adachi also did. Besides a live action superhero TV show, he also works on anim anime TV shows and manga that are based on sports and rom coms, I think. Anyway, Pody Lover 1989 signing off, and I will see you all in the next video. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe me again.